Lauren. Hello, Lauren. My name's Gail. Would you like to come with me? through the procedure that we'll be going through today. Firstly, I want you to understand that I'm here to support you. I'm going to be your advocate and I won't let anything happen to you that you're not happy with, okay? When the doctor's ready, she'll do a medical examination. I shall be there with you and if you feel uncomfortable at any time, you can stop the process. Your clothing will be taken away for forensic testing, okay? We do have some new clothing for you, and a shower after the medical, if you want, before you go home. I'd like to phone my friend. We share a flat. She'll bring me some clothes and take me home afterwards. Of course, but we will be a while yet. We'll be as quick as we can. The police will want to do a video interview afterwards before you leave, okay? Stupid. Oh God. Why me? What did I do to deserve this? I'll never be the same person again. I feel so dirty. I just want to go home. Oh, I just want to die. All right. All done. Everything's fine. Well done, Lauren. All done. You're very welcome to take a shower if you would like one. I've got some things here that you can put on and, until your friend comes with your own clothes. Okay? Hello, Lauren. Come in. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. I will be liaising with you during this investigation. Your support worker, Gail, has explained to you what we need to do. Yes. Are you okay with this? We could leave it till another day if you prefer. No, let's get it done. Okay, let's get started. If you could tell me in your own words, Lauren, what happened, we will record it and then it will be used as what is called evidence in chief. And it will possibly make it unnecessary for you to give evidence in court. Is that all right? Mm. I went to that cafe on Mill Street after work. I decided that I should eat something, so I'd finished late. It was very dark when I left the cafe. <laughs> I decided to save time, I'd take a shortcut through the park. <laughs> stupid, stupid, I know. <sighs> Would you like some water? Please. Way, I suppose, through the park, and I heard this rustling, 
shadows and then suddenly I just fell to the floor. I felt this weight on top of me. I tried to shout for help, but he put his hand over my mouth and tell me he'd kill me if I screamed. so frightened. I thought I was going to die. He's going to kill me. Did you see his face? No. He wore a mask. It was horrible. I did see his eyes. Intense. Blue, I think. I'd know them again. The smell. Strong aftershave. It was horrible. It made me feel sick. And he pushed himself inside me. The pain. finished he just got up quickly and then ran off. I don't know how long I must have been laying there. And then the lady from the dog fell. I know this is distressing for you Lauren but we must get it down while it's still fresh in your mind and then we'll get you home. To your parents? No. No, this would kill my mum. She's been so sick since my father died. It's, it's distressing enough as it is. My friend Chris, she's waiting for me outside. She brought me these clothes, so she's going to take me home. We will do everything we can to get him, but we can't do this without you, Lauren. So shall we carry on and get this finished then? Before you go. Oh no, thanks. I'm late. I'm going to miss the bus if I don't get a move on. I'll get one when I get to work. Okay. Are you going to be okay? Yeah. I thought I'd take a walk to the shops today. I'll get something special for dinner tonight. Yeah? Well, yeah. that would be good. It's been a while now since you did go out. Yeah. Go for it, girl. I must start picking up the pieces, eh? Life moves on. Okay, I'm out of here. You take care.
Lauren? Bad day, huh? I didn't get anything for dinner tonight. I told myself I've got to get on with my life. Can't let this get to me anymore. Yeah, right. I got to the store and I just lost it. Ran all the way home. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Don't worry. You will get through this. You're a strong person. You always have been. You can't let him win. Let him see you're not going to stay a victim. <sighs> it was me hoping for birth bourguignon at the very least. Now you'd have to put up with my haute cuisine. Which fancy? Beans on toast? Or toss with beans? <laughs> <laughs> I'm DC Ford. Uh, I'm here to see Lauren. Is she in? I believe she is expecting me. Just a moment. Lauren? It's the police. You expecting a DC Ford? Yes. Have a seat. Hello, Lauren. I'm Dizzy Ford, Linda. My colleague, dear Stone, did tell you I was coming to see you, didn't she? Yes. She's passed all the details on to me, as I am a solo, a sexual offences liaison officer, and I'll be with you all the way from now on. My colleague here is DC Palmer, Martin. So, how are you, Lauren? Some days, I'm OK. And I think I'm getting there. And then, wham! I'm right back at the beginning. Like today. This just won't go away. Have you been having counselling? Yes. It's a long process, but it really does help. Another thing that might help is that we've had a breakthrough with the CCTV coverage of the park. We think we have your attacker leaving the area at around the relevant time, and we brought him in for questioning. We'd like you to come down to the station to have a look at some photos to see if you can identify him. It's nothing to be frightened of. He won't be there. You'll just be looking at images on a screen. It's much less distressing for the victim. It's that word again. Victim. 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 I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean to cause any distress. But like it or not, Lauren, you are a victim. Do you have it in you to do something about it? May I do this? Remember what I said. You're strong. You have to do this if your life is ever going to get back on track. <sighs> OK. Thank you, Lauren. We'll organise it as soon as possible and we'll get you down the station. Until then, we'll leave you in peace. Thank you. This is Jeff, our technician. Now, Jeff is going to show some photographs of possible suspects on the screen. Okay. If you recognise anyone, just nod, OK? Right, Jeff, could you run the sequence, please? Yeah, please? sure.
No. I don't recognise anyone here. You're sure? Yes. He's not here. Okay, if you're sure. I'm sorry to have put you through all this. I'll show you out. I'm sorry. It's okay. Look, please, go home and give it some serious thought and I'll come back and see you in a couple of days. She did recognise him. There was a definite reaction. Yes, I saw it too. He's really spooked her out. You know, she's terrified, Martin, and with good cause. Are we going to pull him in, Riley's cage? We should get the forensics back soon. And if his DNA matches with the one we took of him when he filmed for Viper, then that will be the time. An ID and statement from Lauren would be good. I think I'll pay her another visit, see if I can persuade her. No, Martin, I'll, I'll go alone. A woman's touch. I just think a one-to-one -one will be a little bit more productive. It is all up to her. So come on, Lauren, give us a break. You are a victim. Show him you're strong. No! He will kill me, he said so. That's right, darling. I can hear him squeal. Do you hear me? Stop, I'm strong. strong. I'm strong. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. You will not control me. You will not stop control me. Stop being victim. You're nothing. You're nothing. Do you hear me? Okay. You were shouting. Another nightmare, huh? Yeah. Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay now. In fact, I've never felt better. That was the most vivid dream. Horrible. Surreal, yet strangely invigorating. Do you want a cuppa? I know who it was. Who? What do you mean? I know who raped me. What? This is the day of reckoning. Okay. Thank you, Lauren. Result. She's agreed to testify. And we were right. She did recognise him from the photo ID. She's prepared to come in and have another look at them and make a formal identification. That's good. That combined with a statement, we can bring him in on suspicion. The icing on the cake would be if the DNA comes back positive. Do you think uh, another visit's in order? Just to strengthen the resolve? Well, I'm on my way as soon as I get this report finished.
That was Sarah. She looked pretty pissed last night when you left the club. She sobered up a bit by the time I got it back to hers. And was quite impressive. Do you know something? In all the years I've known you, I've never actually seen you pissed. Well, I might miss something if I'm out of it. I like to be in control, as you know. Yeah. Come to the pub tonight. There's that Hindu one. Should be a wild night. Might get lucky. Maybe. I've got some business to attend to first. Yeah. Me too. Right. I'll get us a takeaway. Chinese? That'd be lovely. Okay. See you in a bit. Bye. Oh, don't forget your keys. Silly girl, what am I gonna do with you, eh? You've been talking to the police and I told you not to. I told you what happened if you did, didn't I? Get out! You're hurting my feelings, Lauren. Just like you used to in school. Oops. Don't pretend you can't remember the games we used to play, our little den. Boys and girls come out to play. We were only kids. I can't believe you're still thinking about that. Boys and girls come out to play. The moon does shine as bright as day. Leave your supper, leave your sleep. Come with your playfellows into the street. I didn't want it to be like this. She gave me no choice. So sad. Tim now.